sometimes the simplest way can be the best way. Hey guys, this is my review for Wind River. This is a film that was written and directed by Taylor Sher Sheridan. He was the writer for Sicario and the recent Hell or High Water. Hell or High Water was actually a really good movie. It was a very simplistic movie, but the writing was very, very good. Very good dialogue, very good characters. That same writing style passes over into Wind River, and I think he did a pretty good job. This is his first real major movie he's directed in six years. This is his second, really, to speak of. So I think for a second-time director, he does an exceptional job bringing a very simplistic but very compelling story onto the screen and having the actors really embody these characters and taking us on a very deep and emotional story. The movie follows Jeremy Renner who is a hunter, a wildlife hunter, who comes across the body of a young teenage girl and what follows is the investigation into finding out what happened to her and finding those responsible for her death. All the while Renner is still dealing with the loss of his own daughter who is in fact a friend of the girl who was recently murdered. A lot of emotion comes into play as the events unfold but it's not overly dramatic. It's very set. It's very realistic. If not, some of the dialogue is pretty good and a little bit on the mark, but if anything, it is a very, really well paced, a very realistic story. Elizabeth Olsen is the FBI agent who comes in to pretty much take over the investigation, and the relationship between the two of them is exceptional. They are so good, and it's funny enough seeing Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch together, but really, these are actual characters coming into their own. And I have to say this, this is the best role that Jeremy Renner has had since the town or the Hurt Locker. These are, basically he has three movies now that he can definitely attest to for his talent. is the Hurt Locker, then the town is still one of his most memorizing roles, and then now we've got Wind River. As the events unfold, Taylor takes us, the director takes us on a very, very, as I keep on saying it, simplistic because it's not very complicated. It's not in depth. There's not conspiracies. There's not a lot of who done it. Oh, reveal, split reveals, or Hollywood sort of endings. The film follows it as almost a documentary in a sense of just how believable most of the events are, aside from the ending maybe. Either way, the film still progresses very well. And the whole time, whether anything of interest towards the investigation is happening or it's whether it's just normal stuff with the locals, you are so into the story. The film takes place on an area called Wind River, which in the film is a native reserve. And the film, all the while the story is going on, is underlining the hardships, the issues and the shortcomings that people have to live with while living on the reserve and just the hardships that Native Americans go through every single day as well as the lack of care into investigative circumstances that they deal with and that's what the film is about is basically about this sort of situation that still goes on. We in Canada, or at least in BC, have the Highway of Tears. And for the United States, I imagine there are similar situations throughout the, any sort of native area or any sort of reserves in the United States. So it hits it on the mark, but does not slam it into your face. It's very subtle, but it's still very powerful. The only issues I might have with this film is that it's just simplistic. It's not anything you've seen that's different, and also, the means in which how the murder happens escalates really quickly from something that kind of just happens. Uh, but besides that, I really enjoyed it. There's also a cameo in this movie that you won't expect, so I won't reveal it, but I actually thought it was cool. I actually said out loud, what? Wind River is a very good film. It's probably one of the best films I've seen this year, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a simplistic movie. You have seen kind of issues like this done before in TV shows, crime dramas, but it does it with a very careful, a very considerate, and a very caring hand. So in the end, I will give Wind River a 6 out of 7. I really enjoyed it. You guys go see it. Also, just came back from PAX, so I will definitely, maybe probably do a video just talking about my experience and definitely the really cool Shadow of War story I had. Anyways guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.